All right. So welcome to Faster Than Light. Another hard game. Another fun game. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a list with all kinds of ships. I unlocked all of the ships already, but I'm not a very good player, so I <laughs> mostly play it on easy. But these recordings, these, this series, I will be playing at normal. And see if I can succeed with, oh, hopefully, at least one. <laughs> would be great if I could succeed with one. <laughs> some ships are hard, some are, some are very hard. But to choose a ship, we can go to our list of wheel, our wheel of names again, and see who will be allowed to try. So I'll see you in a minute. All right. So we got a wheel, we got all the ships, so live, let's give it a spin and see who wins. Oh no, no stealth cruiser, no stealth, oh god. Or oh, maybe NG, NG? Uh, oh yeah, alright. There's the NGC, the Tetragon. Right, so let's get back to FTL and let's select the ship. All right, so let's see, NGC, the Tetragon. So we have a Lanius and two NGs on board. We have a dual lasers and a beam drone, anti-ship beam drone one. Yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, we start with hacking and a clone bay. That's nice. That's fine. Defense scram the prevents enemy defense drones from targeting anything. That one is. A, that's good to have. Uh, especially in the phase two of the end fight. With his defense drones, they are annoying. All right. So let's get started. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Fire is spreading, blah blah blah. Alright, so let's activate our dual lasers, more power to our engines. And unpower the clone bay so we have power to activate our beam drone if necessary. We have 25 drone parts. Right, so we're being pursued by the rebel fleet and we have to make, make it across several sectors to escape. come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight, it will make it worth your while. Do we accept, accept the bright? Bri bright. Bribe or try to be a hero? Well, let's, uh, let's try to be a hero and attack the pirates. The pirate ship stop its pursuit and locks weapons onto your ship. Right, so we can pause the game just to have a moment of serenity. They have missiles and an iron gun. The missiles are, are annoying, are dangerous. Mm. Let's uh, activate our dual lasers. Activate our drone as well, but our drone is useless when their missiles are up or when their the shields are up. Ouch. Oh crap, I've got to activate auto fire. Alright, so hard. 
beam drone. It's gone. Huh. Right, fine. Our pr previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. Five fuel, one gun drone, and eight scrap. Or will we destroy them? We, we are capable of destroying them. So let's. Uh, we have enough fuel for now, so should be fine. As long as their missiles just don't activate again, I'm, I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah. Don't forget our our hacking ability. Because their ion doesn't do damage; it just uh, disables uh, systems. Nothing more. Oh, oh. Dead. Oh, now we only got eight scrap. Well, the pirate's vict victim quickly jumps away before you have a chance to speak with them. That's too bad. Let's uh, let the N NGs repair stuff. Because they are good at repairing. Terrible first jump, but hey, that's uh, something I'm used to. <laughs> oh dear, a pirate ship was laying in the wait inside this asteroid field and immediately, immediately moves into attack. Turn and fight. So they have a dual laser and a beam. have a good chance that the asteroids from the asteroid field will save the sh their shield. So let's activate our beam drone as well. That is nice. You have made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. One fuel, one drone part, seven scrap. No, no surrender. Two fuel, one drone part, and sixteen scrap. A lot better. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Nice. So let's get out of here when we have the chance. I think I want to explore more here than I want to do over here. So let's get let's get there. You've arrived to find a number of ships convoying around the station. There's some unexcripted chatter between the ships. You tune in and listen for anything interesting. Overhearing the conversation, it seems that they that they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Intact? I can't do that. I don't have the stuff for it. But still, offer my services. They briefly scan your ship and inform you that you are not properly equipped for this type of mission. Uh, too bad. They are lost. are hailed by a rebel ship. When the rebellion is complete, you'll see the safer world with the fight. Well, you won't, but you get the eight points. They are weapons. So they have a, uh, a shield overcharger and a single um, laser. So they are of no threat at all. None. None. None fret. <laughs> if we want, we can just stay here. If we um, take damage on our shields, then the 
But we have we have no one on shields. Every time you shoot or takes damage damage to shields, he fade and he fades. You someone increases skill. Like Alenius Om is a pilot. So for every evasion his piloting skill increases. Which in turn will increase our evasion. That's useful. When our engines engine skill increases, our evasion increases as well, which is totally useful. Our shield will recharge faster the better they are skilled. And our weapons will fire faster. When they're skilled better. But if we want we can just stay here and increase our skill, but I'm not going to uh, but <laughs> there goes their drone. It, it could take a while before it's skilled. Especially with low shots and everything. This is going to take a while nonetheless. Because of the shield overcharger. <laughs> but eventually they will run out of drone parts. We'll stop recharging the shield. Shield, the shield module, just disable it. Hmm. So, the time that this thing. Overcharges the shield about the same uh, recharge time. Hmm, so this can take a long time, so maybe I'll have to. Oh, that was uh, unfortunately timing. a little bit faster than they recharge. A little bit. cycle again to just get one shot in. Aha! So if you hack a system they cannot use it. If you hack their mad oh it's already done. If you hack their mad bay Damage uh, and you'll damage their crew if they're standing inside.
finally have the chance to do stuff. I still can't. There we go. Finally. One mission, one drone part, 13 scrap. Yeah, let's go this way. A pirate ship was laying in the way inside the asteroid field. It immediately, immediately moves in to attack. Dual laser, ion cannon. Let's go for it. Someone to repair this quickly. All right, so they don't have any weapon systems left. There we go. One fuel, two missiles, and 15 scrap. That's nice. Go this way. You find a rebel combat ship that, that has been reassigned as an emergency supply vessel. The local civilians are apparently in need of help and the rebels are rising to the occasion. So we do we attack from the rebels? Do we attack the rebels? Wait to steal the supplies from the civilians or leave them be? Let's uh, steal from the civilians. Oi! The colonists willingly give up their supplies, but as you make to jump away, the explosion rocks. An, an explosion rocks your ship. The cargo was booby trapped. Aye. Aye! It's a fire! Right, so the problem with Lenius is they suck the. Oxygen out of a room. It makes them great for boarding other ships, though. Well, we There's a black market hub here. We receive a message. These are dangerous times. If you have extra military grade explosives, we'll gladly pay for them. Oh, we don't have enough, so we couldn't do anything. This way. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering the F FTL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. We have a missile and a laser, single laser shot. Disable the shield. Yeah, we're, we're tearing them apart. Crap, the missile is back on. Alright, we got it. Free the ship breaks apart and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Nice. So one fuel, two explosives and 15 scrap. So we have a breach and there's no oxygen. The Lenius don't need oxygen. oxygen. So let the Lenius repair the breach for us. For the Angies. Well, the Angies who are robots 
still need oxygen for some reason. Or they are androids or something. Something like that. They will take damage uh, in, not in vacuum rooms. You spot, a, you spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand the surrender of their goods. You prepare to secure their cargo by force. Look, they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Yeah, let's do it like this. Like they have a bomb. All right, so their cockpit has been. Damaged. Oh, they were just in time with their, sh with their shields. Oh, they destroyed our doors. Our door system. Search the ship and recover that its cargo. Discover that its cargo was new military grade weaponry. It was somehow undamaged in the fight. They can easily be mounted on your ship. A chain burst laser. And 13 scrap. Nice. Alright, so the chain burst laser. This tool should laser decreases in cool time. Cool down the more it, it fires. After three volleys, it only takes seven seconds to charge. The first one is 16, and it re requires two power. Um, well, it's 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 a nice addition. Partly organic, or entirely mechanical. Make exceptional engineers. Repair speed is doubled. Combat damage inflicted in is halved. The anaerobic beings seem friendly enough. <laughs> All right, so it might be useful to get to uh, use at some point, but it isn't very. It isn't better than what I currently have. Can we make three jumps before they are with us? So that, well, maybe. We can try. Let's try. No risk, no gain. Your jump leads to a completely unremarkable unrem binary star system. There's nothing else around. Too bad. An especially well armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Well, I'm not going to send any crew over to them. We will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Ooh, they have flak and a heavy, heavy laser. Let's disrupt their weapons and put on our beam drone. So if we hack their weapons, then we can uh, prevent them from firing. Terrible. Oh, our weapons have been hit. That is terrible. 
At the long range beacon, when the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the jump to the next sector. You find a small space station that appears to be abandoned. Move in to examine the station, or stay near the beacon. Let's move in. Station is in disarray. You find a cloning bay, partially intact, but nothing else seems to be functioning. Search the clone bay for a surviving DNA bank. So the blue option is practically. 89% is a good option. Or we can get some scrap, or we can get a crew member. Let's get, try to get a crew member. While well, the cloning facilities are no longer functioning, you find someone was in queue to be cloned. You transfer their data to your clone bay and after a time their body is rebuilt. And we got an NG named Will. The clone is extremely confused but seems to accept their new situation. With no other options, the clone offers to work on your ship for a time. Excellent, now get to work. Oh, this was... This was terrible. So Will will be going to the shields and... Well, we're stationed at the most important things at least. Nearly destroyed. <laughs> Next sector. Let's go for NG controls. The other one is a nebula. You can't see a nebula. You have arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times on these robotic lifeforms, but they are usually willing to help. Okay. Um, we need to find a store. Pirate ship was, was laying in wait. Oh, oh crap. Could have also just improved my, sh my ship, of course. I cannot hack because they have a overshield. It will take some time before that is dissolved. So our uh, engine crew, our pilot and our weaponry specialist have increased in skill. You've made your point, we are beaten. Take these and leave us. To explosives, one drone part 14 scrap. Will we try to do more there? Missiles almost ready to fire. I think we'll take their offer. It's just too dangerous. Let's uh, go this way. The NGR are waiting you at the beacon with their weapons online. Explain a computer virus that is wanted for hostile acts against the NG. Multiple, multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano dissolution, and variable interference is aboard your vessel. They insist they must destroy your ship to prevent the virus from escaping. Right, so hold on, let us try to purge the system code. Attack the NG vessel, and we have three uh, blue options. 
your Lenia screw member just as frantically. Frantically. Or have your NG crew member negotiate with the NG ship. Or isolate and quarantine the virus. Ooh. Um. Let's go because we have N because we're an NG ship, let our NG crew communicate with them. As the NG attempts to contact the vessel and negotiate your NG crew member, suddenly dissolves into, into nanites. The virus has murdered again. Detecting activity on board your ship, the NG vessel opens fire. Crap, everywhere the bullet is gone. The virus appears to have disrupted your clone bay. Clone base uh, capability to revive the lost crew member. Crap. So that was the, the wrong one. The one in a hundred wrong options. <laughs> uh, they have hacking. Well, their defense drones aren't working. They have a beam and they have ion. They have double shields. Right. I need to try to get rid of their shields first. Ship destroyed your scrap it, I prepared to jump away. One fuel, one drone, eleven scrap. To your surprise, your NG crew member reforms. It looks as if the virus reconstitu reconstitutes, repurposed, and reprogrammed the NG host and wants to travel with you. And it seems to have learned a great deal of its ship, of its time on your ship. Oh, so we have a high skill in piloting and, en and uh, engines. That is nice. He has all skills in blue. Oh, that is so long. That is so. That's so great. That's good. That's great. Oh, well, never mind. That that isn't a bad option. <laughs> but we're still nearly destroyed. But here's a here's a store. A message arrives. Your scrap. Ours. Your weapons for you. Our weapons for you. You're about to raise the shields when you realize it's just an anti trader looking for a trade. Mm. Cloaking. Oh. We need to fix stuff. Sultan. Humans are common and uninteresting. Skills improve slightly faster. The Zoltan are allies of the NG. Their innate energy can power ship systems, provide power to occupied system, maximum health is reduced to 70, 15 damage to enemy crew on death. So this is nice. If you have two Zoltans on your shields, then they cannot uh, get rid of the last shield bar with ion. Which is very useful. I'm not going to sell this yet because there's no better something. But I want to get repairs and I want to get a sold then. Um, so let the sold then go here as our new shield master. And let's. We'll go on the 
sensors to see ship interior to be standby for repairs. Alright, so let's go downwards and then start to move uh, eastwards. What appeared to be a single damaged ship is in fact two ships that have smashed into each other. There's a flurry of comm signals and damage, and it's hard to determine what occurred. The vessel appears to be NG. They look locked together by the impact and can't free themselves. Attempt to help the ships spread right by prying them apart. Ignore the damaged vessels or have your NG crew member hail the vessel and assess the damage. Your NG crew member refuses. In a, in a halting use of adjectives and nouns, followed by some animated holographic aids, the NG explains the ships are using each other to loosely translate it, achieve a union. For some reason this consolidation of ship matter sounds embarrassing and personal. You elect to leave the two NG ships to their business. After questioning your NG crew member, however, you do manage to salvage what scrap parts you can from that parameter, even though you feel slightly dirty for doing so. Nice. Alright, so we want to go and improve shields soonish. Just level 2 shields make it, makes it it's a great deal to have level 2 shields. A settlement still loyal to the Federation hails your ship. They have prepared a weapon to aid your escape from the rebels. Eleven scrap and a hull smasher laser. 14 seconds, shots per charge, 2. 2 times damage on systemless rooms. All weapons deal double damage if they hit a room that, has, that does not have a system or a subsystem. I'm not very fond of those. I, pre I prefer to destroy systems. Let's do it. Four damage on system plus rooms. Uh, we need 50 and 70. We need 95 scrap to in improve our shields to do. Oh, and now we need 70 because salt then provide one power which has been uh, put in shield. You have arrived near an NG construction yard. Most NG maintain their bipedal appearances. Appearance out of habit, but here you see a number of NG hives working together to create massive organic machines adept at building ships. Truly a sh sight to behold. But apparently useless. Distress beacon. As soon as you arrive at the distress beacon, shots are fired towards the ship. A trap! Beam. Damn. Two shields again. That sucks. So let's activate this. Um, and when I do a laser or fire. weapons um, and shoot it in time for the beam to do some damage nice 
nice. there's a fire in their shield room. As long as there's a fire, they cannot repair the shield. They cannot repair the system as well. Um, all right, so we're currently safe. The fire keeps dealing damage to the. All right, so they offer to give us some of the. They offer to give you some of their goods if you don't destroy the ship. Four fuel, eight explosives, fourteen scrap. Will we risk it for a biscuit? No, I will not accept surrender this time. drone part and 21 scrap all right almost at 70 for our shields Explosive one drone part 21 scrap. So the good thing about the clone bay is, uh, is also that every jump heals the crew. It's a passive, so you have a passive healing. And there we go. And it doesn't have to be powered to do that. Oh, and there's a store here. We have those two weapons to sell. No. I'm not convinced that will be a lot of scrap for me to use. a civilian space station with heavy, heavy damage. You received a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to speed up our repairs. Who we'll buy some of you if you have extra? Well, I'm not going to sell you drone parts. Sorry. So I think I we might be able to make these two jumps before we can before we have to go to the exit. Might be on the edge of doing so. The sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of the many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you. Or else it's trying to avoid notice. Hail them. If you hail the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into the system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport and now they have found you instead. Alright, so they have two single shot lasers. And we have a level 2 shield. So this is going to be easy. So this will, this 
will be no problem at all. Right, so there's a fire in O2. And they have four systems. If a system is destroyed, then you get one damage. The fire will slowly spread. But as well that the uh, oxygen will be... Oxygen will just fade away slowly. So we might be able to just kill the slugs with... We just might be able to kill the slugs with the ship attack world, which will result in better loot, better scrap. And if necessary, we can try to... Uh... Oh, we have expert pilot, we have master piloting now. Nice. And our shield will be trained slowly. If necessary, we can try to shoot it with our laser. So it's turning red slowly. It's nice that we have master uh, piloting. Gives us gives us more innovation. Almost. The slug ship, now empty of life forms, provides easy salvage. To fuel one drone part, 31 scrap. Contact the refugee ship. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hound hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill and seeing how effect effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. To expose this one drone part and 11 more scrap. Nice. That was a very good jump. And we can just make it. You arrive at the, at the populated sector. One person seems to be mass broadcasting, quest, broadcasting a re request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yes. Great. I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but they will surely tip you generous generously. Sure thing. Great. I uploaded their location to your star map. I'm running out of options, so I have no cho choice but to trust you. Do what you have to, what you have agreed to. So we get five drone parts and a quest marker. Oh, we're just out of range of the uh, pursuing rebel fleet. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storing vessel, a storage vessel for military goods. I see a missile tube and I think a heavy laser. Oh, the heavy laser won't be a problem, the missile tube might. But let's attack it anyway. Oh, and they have hacking. Well, we also have hacking. We have power. How are we going to use our beam drone? Excellent. Now the now drones will automatically repair their own systems. And the only way to counter that is by creating a breach. Let's 
the only way to counter their automatic repairs. Our drones also have a high evasion. But this way we can uh, properly deal with them. Evasion, no shields, so it's just an easy win. Twenty six scrap. Investigate the station. The station is a storage site for various resources. You salvage everything possible. Two fuel, two explosive, twelve scrap. Very nice. Um, yeah, so we're we are going to want to gain better offensive capabilities soon so we went to the ng homeworld instead of a pirate controlled sector because we are ng we have arrived in ng space the mandas have been threatening the ng core worlds but you should be able to stock up for your journey there's no store, there's the quest. That's oh, fine. Um, so we need if we could if we take more better more weapons, then we need to um, two bars and weapon control. But more Engines is also better for for better dodge. So it's fifty for two power bars, and it's sixty five for more weapon control. So one hundred and fifteen. Let's take at least one engine. One more engine for 35 evasion. Let's go this way. There must have been rich pickings for pirates around here up until the war broke out. The pirates you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. We'll have to fight. Ah, oh, this will this will be fine. Definitely. So a heavy laser and they other laser thing, I forgot its name. Oh, and they have cloaking, which is more annoying. They only have one. Ooh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I would like to disable this one so we're immune for them, immune against their attacks. Like so. Maybe we can get rid of the cloaking next time. Fire on board. Ouch. It 
words. Explosive control part 26 scrap. Much better. There's this trash this trash call nearby. Let's take the two weapon control for our chain laser. just in time to see an unusually well-armed energy ship destroy a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. detected. Intruder on deck. A young man is his chart in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the engine and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The engine have already traced the teleporter signal, offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Side of the fugitive, I fight the energy ship. Agree to offer up the man the same exchange for a bounty. Well, we are energy. Amandus is a good crew member against intruders. He is good at fighting. But we are energy, and we are in war with the Mantis here. So let's uh, let's offer him up in exchange for a bounty. The engine captain is delighted and quickly arranges for the transfer of the prisoner. 39 scrap, very nice. I don't mind getting that. We need to leap back a bit there. Alright, uh, you'll find a Rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. And then to download the ship's data stores, or don't risk activating it and just strip the ship for any useful scrap. No shields, an iron thing, and a laser. Let's attempt to download the ship's data store and get some scrap. Oh! Instead of 15, we now get 17, 2 missiles and 2 fuel. We are able to pull all of the ship's data about the sector. Your map has been updated. Very nice. So store, distress, possible ship. 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we should be able to do this. Maybe even get five. No, I, I doubt we will get five. Right. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. Try to dislodge the ship by shooting at the rocks. Destroy, destroy and loot the ship. They're just pirates. Beam drone. This will cost us a beam drone, probably. And have your drone cut the ship out. Well, let's do the nice thing. Maybe they will, will reward us. That didn't cost a drone. 
You program the drone to work carefully around the trapped ship. In a short time it allows the ship to easily slip out of its cage. They thank you and offer some, some of the resources they have collected. One missile, one drone and 23 scrap. Nice. Stormwalkers, alright. They're powering the FTL. Um, I don't want them to activate their missile. Get to the store. That's stupid. You arrive at a location given to you by the merchant. You are supposed to deliver drone parts to the station here. You find the station and they respond to your hails immediately. Saying it looks like it took you long enough. We have practically no use for these now. I refuse to pay full price. Take this and leave the cargo in your holds. Paltry payment, 24 for five. Sell five drone parts for 24. Sure. Uh. Yeah, it sucks. Even though each individual NG is made up of trillions of nanomachines, the culture still revolved around traditional social interactions. A nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment of passing NG travelers. Well, let's head towards the uh, towards the exit, and we're almost out of fuel as well. All right, so an advanced rebel thing. Let's attack it. That's uh, weak. Our weapon is also al almost master. This won't take long. Nice. 25 scrap and free fuel and free missile explosives and another 14 scrap nice so let's increase our reactor and our hacking so we hack better oh this is drone control hacking so th that way we can hack better and we can also use our beam drone Notice an NG colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they are excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War, and they suggest it might be used to lure the pursuing rebel fleet. We'll be trapped for two explosives. Secure the cache. Let's secure the cache. The, they are already nearby, so yeah. You have the NG complete their excavations and bring the supplies on board. 33 scrap and an anti combat drone. Combat drone stuns combat drones attacking your ship. Very nice, sure. I'll take it. Let's head to the exit. Boop, boop, 
booby trapping it will delay the pursue. But since it's the last jump, then yeah. There are a number of privately owned ship construction platforms in the area. You'll find that one has a, a open a slot open for some immediate work. Inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your oxygen system in exchange for some scrap. Fifteen. I think that's a good. I think that's a good deal. You let their team on board, and after a short time, they finish their work. Yeah, I think the f I think it was something like uh, twenty or twenty-five normally. So it's fine. It's good. Let's go more NG controlled. Alright. So we're over an hour, so next time we will continue with FTL. And see if we can manage to make it till the end. Or die trying at least. So thank you for joining me again and see you later.